When it comes to slanted <coughs> uh, slabs, is this how you would do that? Uh, I could, but uh, there is a much better way. There is actually a dedicated tool for that. So let's just go back here and uh, I, will, I will create two ramps. So talking about ramps, we actually have a dedicated tool for the, for the ramp, which is here. But if you, for any reason, would like to use the, the slab itself to create a slanted uh, ramp or a slanted uh, kind of terrain imitation, we, have a, we do have a terrain tool, but if you do not want to model a terrain, then you can just you know, go with slopes. In that case, most of the time I also, go, I also sketch a slab and th there's the slope slab option and we have actually two options. One is the reference by reference point and by reference line. The difference between the two uh, looks like that. If I start with the by reference point and then I go back to the ground floor, let's just design it here. I have, th I have this plate here and let's say I'm about to reach uh, a level one meter above this level. So in that case, I know the heights. So I just go and find slab, slope slab by reference points. You actually have to set up three separate reference points and the contour. The first you need to design the contour. Let's say it's like that. It should be, I don't know, five meter long. And then I'm just going here and just just, just create a closed loop. And then, then the software asks, okay, now you will need to give the heights and you can decide whether these are the top of or the bottom of these uh, slabs. Uh, I will go with no because I, the, the heights that I know of, uh, they, they are the top of, the, uh, mm -hmm. of this uh, slab. So I go with no. And uh, this is, I know that this is at zero. So this is where we should start from. This is zero. This is also zero. And this where I would like to reach to is at one meter and I'm working in meters. So that's why the reason I'm typing one here. Okay, so this is what I get then. So if I would have a plate here uh, at one meter, then I, I already reached so that level. you have to define at least three height points. And yeah. based on that, the software is going to tell yeah, you. So this is, this is when you know from where to where you would like to uh, reach to. And the other one is that if you know the inclination, then you should go with the bi-reference line. There's a difference here. You still need to define the shape from the top view. And then the difference is that you need to set up one and another point mm, of an, of a, the we call condition. this a reference line. Oh, and this reference line is where you can set up an inclination. From this point, it will either go up by a positive 10 degrees or down by a negative 10 or any sort of other degrees. And I'm just typing minus, I don't know, 12. And I'm saying, okay, so that's it. And then the software, of course, calculates everything and, and reaches to the, to the specific le level, which I can now measure and then, you know, attach another item to that.